Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can learn calculus on your own. I'm going to teach you how, and I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. Some of the ways are better than others, and I'll talk about my favorite way, but feel free to choose any of the methods that I describe in this video because people learn differently, right? People are different. They learn differently. Some people learn better in a classroom. Some people learn better from videos. Everyone is different. And so you just have to find what works for you. But all of these methods work great, and you should be able to learn calculus fairly quickly. As a quick disclaimer, I should mention that you do need some algebra skills, and you do need some trigonometry skills in order to learn calculus. But I also want to emphasize that you do not have to be a master at algebra or a master at trigonometry. So don't be afraid to jump into calculus even if your background is weak. You'll learn a lot in the process. Okay, let's talk about the different ways that you can teach yourself calculus right now. The first way that you can teach yourself calculus is with math books. And I think that even if you choose the other ways, which I'll describe later in this video, you should have some books. So there's tons of books out there and there's tons of calculus books. And there's all kinds of great books. I mean, these are just some of my books that you see back here. I have tons of books, way too many books. So for this video, I've just picked two, and I've picked these for a very specific reason. So these books are popular books that are used a lot, especially in the United States and in Canada. The first one I have right here, this is Calculus by James Stewart, and it's a really thick book. It reads okay. As a person who is learning calculus for the first time, you're going to read this book and you're going to feel confused. I'm just telling you right now, it's going to happen. It's normal. I remember reading certain parts of this book when I was learning calculus over and over and over and just not understanding it. And I ended up just giving up. And it wasn't until years later that I finally understood it. So why am I recommending this book if I'm telling you that you're going to get stuck? Because this book is the standard, right? This book is used at most colleges and universities in the United States. It's one of the really, really popular books that's been written by James Stewart, who, by the way, passed away, and he was a Canadian mathematician. Extra, extra info. This book has really good exercises, and it comes with solutions to the odd-numbered problems. You get answers to all the odd-numbered problems. So, worth getting, and a great way to learn calculus. So, what you do with this book, or the other book which I'm going to show you, is you set a time, you sit down, maybe for an hour a day, and you just do as many problems as you can from this book, right? And just focus on the ones that you have answers to, which are the odd numbered problems. So just do as much calculus as you can every day for a set period of time using these books. The other book I want to show you is also extremely good. This is the one by Larson. This is the instructor's edition. It's the one by Larson and Edwards. You don't have to get the instructor's edition. I'm pretty sure there's a newer edition out there. But again, it's also a really, really thick book. And it's good to have more than one book. The exercises in this book are very, very different from the exercises in the Stewart book. Okay, so I've done tons of problems from both books. I've taught calculus for many years using this book. So it's a great book. So you'll get an exposure to lots of problems that are very typical. So you can self-teach yourself calculus so that if you take calculus in college at some point in your life, you're going to be a monster. You're going to be super ready because this is a book that's very, very popular and used a lot in the US and probably in Canada as well. So those are two books that are extremely popular and are used. So they're great books to use. You'll get lots of practice problems. The big downside to using books is that you're going to get stuck. Like I mentioned, you're going to read things that you don't understand. And you're going to end up thinking these books are not that good because you're going to get stuck and you're going to feel frustrated. So what do you do? Well, you take a different approach. Let's talk about that right now. The second way that you can learn calculus is by buying a course. You can find courses for sale online from multiple websites, or you can even find free courses online on certain websites. There's all kinds of resources on the internet now. There's all kinds of math courses you can find. I myself have two courses for Calculus One on Udemy. The links are in the description, so please use the links if you decide to buy my courses. There's two Calculus One courses. I have one. That's just Calculus 1. That's got little assignments and shorter videos. And I've got one that's actually longer videos 
with assignments. Okay, so I've got two different versions that you can check out. Maybe pick up both and try a little bit of both. That will help you a lot. And these books can supplement that quite a bit. So that's a really good way to learn math is by taking an online course. I think that can help you a lot in your journey in learning calculus. In fact, combining the book with the courses is probably going to be an awesome idea. The last way to learn calculus is an okay way, but really I don't know if it's enough on its own. It's just free videos on YouTube. I mean, I have thousands of math videos on my channel. There's thousands of videos on YouTube. There's all kinds of great math videos. So you can just watch videos and learn. The problem with videos is that it takes longer, right? If there's a video of someone explaining a problem and it takes them three minutes to explain the problem, chances are you can do that problem in 20 seconds or 30 seconds or a minute, right? Depending on the difficulty of the problem. Because when you explain a problem to someone, you have to go slower. You know, if I'm making a video explaining an integral, I talk about it, I try to explain the steps, I do the best I can to explain that problem to the viewer. Whereas if I'm just doing the integral by myself here in my room, it might take me 20 seconds, right? I can just blow through it really, really quickly. And so that's something you want to remember about videos. When you're watching a video, the pace of the video is so much slower than what you should be doing, right? You should be doing these calculus problems quickly and correctly, like, like a rock star, just boom, 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 just, you know, banging out integrals and derivatives, no problem. And you can get there. You can get really, really good at calculus. Now that we've talked about three ways you can use to learn calculus, I want to talk about one more thing, and that's how you can actually implement these into like a structured game plan. So my advice is get some books, buy some courses, and start doing math, right? Pick a time every day where you sit down for maybe an hour and you just work on problems. And I really want to emphasize that. And that's why the video idea, while great, is a little bit slower. You want to spend a big portion of your time actually solving calculus problems because that's how you learn. That's how you get good really, really quick. You know, if you do maybe 10 calculus problems every single day, you're going to get better at calculus. You know, if you wake up in the morning and you say, hey, I'm going to solve 10 calculus problems today, you're going to get better. It's going to help. And that's why I think my favorite way out of the three I described is the books. I think books are the way to go, <laughs> obviously, right? That's why I have so many books. Books are faster. The biggest downside with the books is that you're going to get stuck and you're going to get frustrated. And I think that the sooner you accept that you're going to get stuck and you're going to be frustrated and the sooner you realize it's normal, the faster you can get over it. And also, I want to emphasize that when you're learning calculus, don't be afraid to skip around, right? You can jump from one section to another. It's up to you, right? You're self-learning. Same thing with a course. You know, if you end up picking up one of my courses, feel free to jump around from section to section. You don't necessarily have to do it in a linear fashion. Sure, it's taught in a linear fashion and there are prereqs to certain things, which makes it a little bit more challenging sometimes to jump ahead but it's also a little bit more fun, right? I mean, you could learn how to integrate by learning some of the rules of integration even before you do some of the other stuff. So you can learn a lot of math. You can learn a lot of calculus more than you think, right? You'd be surprised how much calculus you learn or you can learn with just some basic algebra and just some basic trigonometry. Again, the two books I'm recommending for this process are the one by Stuart, this one right here, and also the one by Larson, this one right here. I'll try to leave links in the description to these books and also the courses if you decide to pick them up. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck to you. Go learn some calculus. Take care.